Hi guys, I'm in my office right now and I am just about to download um, some embroideries onto a USB stick to use in my show later today for an embroidery machine. For This one is actually for the Brother uh, 97E, but the technique is the same. So I thought I would just very quickly do you a short tutorial on how to do it. Now, bearing in mind your files will be called different things. You could, might be using Chrome or Edge, so your options will possibly be a little different. But um, what I'm going to do now is just show you the simple process of downloading a file from the brother website because they do do these free files um, and then putting them onto the USB so I hope you find this very useful and um, give it a go right so here we are my laptop I've gone to the brother website so um, I'm using brothersewing.co.uk just because brother actually give you free um, files for us to use and now if you move over to the right hand side you can see just here it says free embroidery pattern okay so we just click on that and then they put up one roughly every month of all these free embroidery designs you can see there's peas and grapes and um, and ice cream and various various choices so you know uh, just some really lovely ones now next to them these will all be pes files because they're all compatible with uh the, your brother embroidery machine file formats um, but you want to have a look at the size and just double check that it's going to fit in your machine now the 97e um, has a four inch or 10 centimeter sewing space so i know that all of these will actually fit in my embroidery machine so let's just pick one I think we'll do I quite like the dogs here okay so I'm gonna press just click on where it says download for the dog okay now first of all it says do I want to open or do I want to save it I want to save it now the settings on mine depending on how your computer is set up it may come up now and ask you um, where you want to save it to mine automatically downloads over here to a download file OK, so it, it happened very quickly. You won't have seen it. it was a little arrow appeared and it downloaded. So if I click on that, that is my file. Well, I don't want to open it. I want to go to the file location. And here are my download files. And that is the one that I just downloaded there. So I'm just going to rename it dog. OK, just so that I know what it is I've actually done. Now, I have popped in the side of my um, computer here, my little USB, there, my little storage, and I've opened it up as a folder. So basically, you should see down the side of your file list, it will come up, mine comes up as Toshiba, because that's the make of it. But once you double click on it, um, that is the that is the file location in there. Now um, I've kept mine empty because I think it's a good idea just to have one thing in it. You know, don't mix it up with Word documents and things like that. Just keep your embroidery files. So now all I'm going to do is hold down my left mouse button, drag it across to that folder behind, and you'll see it says copy. There we go, it's copied it into that file. Now I'll be ready to pop this into my embroidery machine and um, embroider it. So it's as simple as that. Now I've done it from the Brother website um, and they are free, but you can download them from lots of other embroidery websites. Use the same technique. Um, you will have a download option. So if we do it again, let's download the burger. So that's from February, click on that. So it's going to save the file OK. Sometimes it will ask you about the file format, but because this is a brother website, they are all PES formats. And you see it's opened up over there. We come in, we go to file location, and then that top one there, I'm going to rename it Boiga. And now I can just, oh, I can look, click on it with my left mouse button, hold the mouse down and drag it all the way across. And now when I click, it's uh, okay. Oh, I don't want to open it. There we go. So it's just asking me, I've obviously double clicked on it. Did it copy? No, I double clicked on it instead of dragging it. There we go. 
drag it and there it is so it's now ready to take my memory stick which if I just take it out the side of the computer there's my memory stick it's now ready to plug in to my embroidery machine and then do my very own embroidery so I hope you found that useful and that it will actually encourage you to have a go with your embroidery machines. Go and find those free ones that you've got on the internet. Just remember to double check the size and double check the format for whichever embroidery machine you're actually using. And I hope you have lots of fun. Bye.